Right, next up. Gizzy, let's go, please. I'm looking at my dish and I'm looking at everybody else's. Feels like everybody's dish went a little bit more elegant and I went clean and rustic. Describe the dish, please. Uh, so lightly grilled striped bass uh, with a delicata squash. Why so rustic? Chef, this is the way that I cook. This is the way that I eat. And I feel like this is the best way to show you who I am. These ingredients did not say rustic to me. I'm feeling pretty confident right now that I have this in the bag. I'm going up to the dorms, put on a pot of coffee. Let's, let's do this. Are you expected to eat the skin? Yeah. So why have you left the scales on? Did you scale the fish? I did. Well, the scales left on there. I'm sorry about that, Chef. Well, it's you on a plate. And it's delicious. Back in line, please. The person moving on in the competition. Bro, congratulations. Thanks, Chef. Head upstairs. Thank you, Chef. Yes! I knew I had a winner of a dish. Ooh. I've been the quiet assassin this time. Now Chef knows that I'm here. I showed up. I want to be his next chef. Yay! Yeah, finally! Woo! Would you would you say this is no? No, it was really good. Her fish was cooked perfectly. She'll be all right. Okay. She'll be all right. Wow, Scotty's plate looks like a mess. Gizzy, good dish. Let's see if it's better than the two remaining chefs. Next up, Jose. I'll definitely put my heart and soul into this dish today. I mean, I believe that I'm safe tonight. Here I have for you, chef, is a uh, pan-seared salmon, chorizo hash, and some avocado salsa verde, chef. That visually looks beautiful. Thank you, chef. I love those colors. They pop. Thank you, chef. Let's get into that salmon, shall we? Yes, chef. Skin really crispy. Thank you, chef. Can you hear that? Yeah. Back in line. Yes, yeah, chef. I know that I knocked this one out the park. Only the strong survive. What would I change? Touch more acidity. Just needs that pop underneath. Salmon you've now beautifully, let me tell you. It's tough. The person. Moving on is Jose. Congratulations. Thank you, Chef. Wow, amazing. Great dish. Thank you, Chef. Appreciate it. Uh, your best dish so far in this competition. Thank you, Chef. It means a lot to me, Chef. Keep it going, though. It'll mean even more to me. I will, Chef. Thank Good you. Good job. I gave that dish everything I had today. I mean, I couldn't feel any better. I kind of just wished I could have phoned my kids and told them Daddy's here to stay. That's what's up, baby. Hey, I need That's what's up. But I have what it takes to stay here and to continue to prove to him that, you know, I'm that chef that he's looking for. That's for your kids right there, homie. Yes, it was. OK, Scotty, let's go. Thank you for being so patient. It's life or death right now. Life or death. I choose life. What do we have here? What I have here is a dry cured um, ahi tuna and some red lentils cooked down with some um, oregano. Uh, why red lentils with ahi tuna? I just wanted to bring something more earthy to the freshness of um, earthy. Just, just 360 for me. 360 for me and have a look at the freshness here. Look at those vegetables over there. Yes, Chef. And you give me dry lentils? Yes, Chef. Because if I was in your shoes, I would not be putting lentils under the best tuna in the world. Really? You didn't pick a fucking vegetable from the fucking farmer's market? Really? The sear on the tuna is beautiful. I love the evenness of it. Step back in line, please. I could have done something totally different, but I went with what I wanted. And at this point, I got to stand by my dish and everything on it. Listen, it's a great dish. Personally, would I serve lentils under tuna tonight? No. Two good dishes. But here's the ironic twist this evening. Didn't you replace Gizzy in her job? Yes, chef. How ironic is this? 
before I even got into South City Kitchen. Everybody, Gizzy this, Gizzy that, Gizzy is talented, she can cook and all of that. I have a Battle of Atlanta on my hands. And I'm gonna beat Gizzy to take the title of fucking ATL. This is really tough. The person moving on. Congratulations goes to... Scotland. Let's go, buddy. Thank you, chef. I'm still here. I'm in this bitch, motherfucker! I'm in this bitch! Oh, 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 fuck! Talking about, baby. Ah! My teeth is fucking showing now. The wolf is here. Oh, yeah! Only a strong survive. Kizzy. You came in like a firecracker, and then something happened. You lost your confidence. And when I see young chefs lose their confidence, that tells me that they're not ready to be my executive chef, and I appreciate your passion. Thank you, chef. OK, come on over here. Thank you for pushing me harder than I've ever been pushed. I just wish you'd continue climbing that ladder, young lady. Absolutely. Please, give me your jacket. Thank you, Lane. Thanks so much. Good night. The funny thing is, I, I was confident. I was confident walking in these doors, and I don't know why I let my own light dim. I command to take charge. I just don't know why I couldn't show it here. I mean, I held my own self back. That's the end of the story. I had such high hopes for Gizzy from day one. But if she doesn't truly believe in herself, then I can't believe in her either.